the uh, becoming a seasoned Christian. Amen. I'm going to talk about becoming a seasoned Christian. When you hear the word seasoned, yes, yes. Um, it's, it's at the stage of greatest fitness. Yes. At the stage of greatest fitness. In other words, spiritually, we, 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 we can reach a level. Now, it doesn't make you perfect, but it helps you to be able to endure stuff. And it's important for us to know this because as Christians, we are going to go through some things. And one of the best ways to determine how well you are faring spiritually is how well you handle stuff. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Oh, it's one thing to jump and shout, but it's another thing, amen, to endure your trials. Yes. Yes. It's another thing to be able to, amen, take your burdens and keep on praising God. Yes, amen. Yes. I believe James tells us what to count it all joy. Amen. When we fall into diverse uh, temptations. Yeah. So what did that tell you as a Christian? It, it tells me we've got to, amen, be able to endure some things, but yet maintain our yeah. walk. I'm yeah. yeah. uh, just going to talk to you today, man, because it's come the time now where we need to understand that this thing, amen, has to be deep inside us. And it has to be, amen, season is a word, if you notice it, they won't meet kept. Uh -huh. Back in the old times, yeah, yeah. they had to season it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they, they had what you call smokehouse. Yeah, I know this young crowd yeah, don't know about no smokehouse, but, but when they killed a horse, yeah. uh -huh, they didn't have freezers yeah, to put them in. Yeah. Yeah. They, they didn't have refrigerated uh -huh, components yeah. and things of that magnitude to uh -huh, cure them. But they had, what they had was salt. Yeah. And uh -huh, they, would, they would go and, and, and put salt on these shoulders. Yeah. Uh -huh, off shoulders. And, yeah. and, and, but, but, and they would salt it down real good. But guess what? That salt preserved yeah. the meat. Yeah. Am I right about that? Amen. Now, when you went to eat it, it was a different story. No, no, it's something about that salt. It, it just didn't stay on the top, honey. That stuff dissolved that inside of the meat. Well, uh, when, when you talk about season, that's what needs to happen with us as saints. We need to allow God, amen, His grace, mercy, love, and anointing. Stay on the surface, but it ain't to go deep down on the inside of us. It makes us become a seasoned Christian. Oh, have mercy. I ain't gonna try to hoop today. I'm just gonna try to talk to y'all. But, but, but it's important because seasoning is good. Yes, And most church folk, amen, this day and time don't know too much about seasoning. We just know about a man jumping and shouting and praising the Lord, speaking in tongues. You got to know how to deal with issues in your life. Am I right about that? Here, 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 Paul, or Peter, rather. He, uh, Peter says some interesting things here. And, then, and, and he's the writer of both First and Second Peter. And it's not alone uh, two chapters. It just comprises of, of just eight short uh, chapters yes. in both of the books. Yes. But it has such a relation to where we are in this day and time. If you would look at First Peter because of the fact, a man, uh, uh, Nero, was beginning his persecution. Uh, Emperor Nero was beginning his persecution against the Christians. I don't know, I was thinking the other day, why is that Christians have always had a hard time? 
I wish I had some help in here. That ought to let you know, amen, what you living and what you got and what you walking in is real, honey, because it's been trying to be taken out ever since it seemed like the end on, of the beginning of time. It seemed like the devil is always trying to take out the Christians. And even now, even now, we're faced with Christianity trying to be snuffed out. You've been watching the news, this group called themselves ISIS. I wish I had some help in here. They don't like Christians. And and they're trying to amen, bring every Christian to slaughter. Yeah, you've been listening to the news. I ain't going to talk about it much. But, but there is a group. There is a, still a group that's trying to come against Christianity. But you ought to be glad that we serve a God that ain't going to let nothing go down. Until he's ready for it to go down. But when it starts going down, guess what? He's going to call us up. Yeah. Can I get some help in here? Yeah. 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 Start going down, God is gonna call his people out. Amen. But here, here, Peter, he, he wrote his first letter uh, because of the persecutions. He, he wrote to them in a few chapters for them, amen, just to amen, stay faithful, endure their sufferings. And thank you understand, amen, we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. Yeah. But we just got to keep holding on to Jesus. Yeah. And in his second letter, uh -huh, he, he wrote one in the Christians uh, uh, exhorting them, amen, to grow in their faith. Yeah. Now you need to understand that you can't stay at the same level year after year. Yeah. You got to understand as Christian, it's got to come a time you got to step up yeah. and you got to step out. Yeah. You can't stay at that level that you've been serving in, amen, for the last three years. It comes a time when you got to seek God for new revelations. Yeah. Seek God for new heights. Seek God for a deeper level of walking in Him. Because if you stay on that same level, the enemy is lurking all the time. And he's always trying to come up with something that'll trip you up. But that's why, amen, you got to become Caesar. And, and if you look, amen, at this letter of Peter, uh, the, 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 it's amazing how, amen, uh, that last paragraph in which Peter, of that third chapter, Peter was encouraging the saints to be steadfast. When I come to tell you today, amen, I believe it's hard to be steadfast if you haven't been Caesar. Oh, yeah. Can I get some help in here? Yeah. So you got to understand. Uh huh. Seasoning. I told you what it meant. Uh, but 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 you got to allow yourself to become seasoned. Yeah. Becoming a seasoned Christian. Listen, has very little to do with how long you've been saved. Come on, come on. You see, you got some folk in hand. They're quick to say how long yeah. you've been saved. Yeah. I've been saved. Yes. But a man that doesn't take many situations to come up against you and you find yourself. Now this amen have got on the wayside. Have got to gotten idle. You got some folk amen. It doesn't take much to stop them anyway. And you got to be careful now because if you're not allowing yourself to become seasoned, well it tells me you're not going to mature as a bona fide Christian. And I'm right about that. You got to Stand, honey. There's maturity in this thing. But as you mature, you become Caesar. Am I right about it? As you mature, you learn how to go through your suffering. You learn how to endure your hardness. You learn how to deal with people. We all want to be loved. And we all want folk to love us. But I come to tell you this. Everybody ain't going to love you. And you're going to find out if you don't get seasoned. How many people don't speak to you? When they don't even take on you. You got to be seasoned enough to encourage your own self. Who am I talking to? You need some friends of Christians who have given up. Because they was not seasoned. They felt like 
because I was Christian and I belonged to that church, somebody should have come and checked on me. Well, well, if you got seasoning within you, it don't matter. I'm this way. I can talk about me now. It don't matter. If you never come by to check on me, I've seen enough to know what my help is. I've seen enough to know that God. me where I am and I'm so glad you ain't got to prove nothing it's time for folk to stop feeling like you got to prove yourself Jesus has already proved it up he's already proved it ain't so strict it's his strict it ain't so anointing it's his anointing the only thing he needs is somebody to walk in it somebody to live Somebody glorified, but to do that, you got to be seasoned. Am I right about that? It ain't about being flashy. It ain't about being cute. It ain't about, amen, wanting to, amen, have everything come your way. But it is about being seasoned. It's, it, it's seasoned. It's, it, it's not, amen, about. How you uh, people treat you, but it's how you treat them. Season and allow you to uh, love your enemy. You'd be surprised, folks don't lost that. But you got to become seasoned enough to where if, if you know somebody don't like you, you just keep on loving them. 